Welcome to Arc Tutorials. This is a brand new series that I'm starting on the channel. From today, you'll also be learning CSS with me as part of this playlist. I'll cover everything from ground zero from scratch to advanced use cases in CSS. This is the first part where we will learn about introduction, some frequently asked questions and some basic hygiene issues that we should know before we start actual coding. Before you start CSS, the expected knowledge or the complete stack that you would be learning will be HTML because if you want to become a UI developer, you will need HTML and CSS and JavaScript, right? If you just want to be a purely UI developer, you can learn HTML and CSS alone. But nowadays, a UI developer is expected to know JavaScript also. I have started the playlist for all of them so that you get to learn all the technologies under one roof. Please do check out the other playlists which are in the description box below or you can also get it from the playlist tab. So please do learn HTML, CSS. If you want to learn in parallel, that would also help you. Okay. That being said, let's get started. This is the first episode on the uh, CSS tutorial, which is introduction to CSS. Before we talk about CSS, let's ask some basic questions and get that comfort, get comfortable with some of the frequently asked questions. Is CSS very tough? Absolutely not. It's very, very basic thing, provided you have the right guidance, right tutorial and make it look cool and easy. You can de do a lot of hell lot of things like designing your own web page, your own portfolio, or you can start working for client projects. You can do freelancing. CSS is about how it looks, right? Look and feel of the application and you can do miracles with it. Now, I don't know HTML, but I, can I still learn CSS? You can learn CSS, but what will you do with it? You can, it's incomplete, okay? Just by learning CSS alone will not help you at all. Okay, so you need to learn HTML in, to, in order to apply your CSS. Remember that if you are trying to think that I learn only CSS, that will not help you. Do I need any license software to install or learn CSS? Absolutely not. It runs in your browser and you don't need anything else. I want to be a full stack developer. Do I need to learn CSS? Absolutely yes. A full stack developer will work on HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and some backend uh, framework like say .NET, Java, Node, Express. So if you want to be a full stack developer, you have to learn HTML and CSS and JavaScript. How long does it take to learn CSS? It takes anywhere between two to three weeks to learn CSS completely with hands-on. It will require you to put in effort and practice. So what are the system requirements to run CSS? There are no system requirements. All you need is a good editor and a browser. Okay, that's all you need in order to run and practice CSS. Now introduction. Okay, let's talk about basics of CSS today. Not too much to confuse you, but enough to get you comfortable so that you can start your learning journey. Now, what is a CSS? CSS is the language we use to style an HTML document. Any web page you take, how it looks is the CSS. In the, if you're following me from the HTML tutorial, relate it this way. HTML tells you what to display on the page. CSS, which is your cascading style sheet, will tell how to look it, how to style those elements. CSS describes how elements should be displayed. CSS is the look and feel of any website. Now, what is CSS? How, what does it stand for? CSS stands for cascading style sheet. Okay. Now, why is it cascade? Why is it called cascading? I'll tell you a little bit later for today. Understand that it's called cascading style sheets. CSS describes how HTML elements are to be displayed in the web page on screen or any other media. CSS saves a lot of work, right? Since we can control a lot of web pages, with one single CSS file. That means if you have 100 HTML pages, you can still control with one CSS file. That is, you can apply the style to 100 web pages in one go, or even 1000, even 10,000, doesn't matter. Now, there are multiple ways where CSS are stored, but we are learning 
thing that the CSS will be separate from HTML and it will be stored in a separate file okay for now just think that HTML is separate CSS separate and we will store them in different different files for now okay so important things now all the CSS should end with a file extension dot CSS okay we know that HTML ends with dot HTML JavaScript ends with dot JS and same way CSS will end with dot CSS you would also see some places like dot SCSS dot less but I will cover that as we grow advanced okay do not rush into learning I am there to help you handhold you and teach you everything CSS is very basic very simple very easy to learn and master okay you will need to practice a lot there are a lot of things that you will need to remember initially but as you practice you will know that you get it by back of your hand so like I said I'll teach you everything from basic to advanced just stay with me and I'll make sure that you learn everything about CSS end to end now some basic stuff um, what are the editors you can use now editors I told you for HTML also that I'm using Visual Studio Code same way you can use Visual Studio Code it's free to use it's free to download you can use other editors like sublime text IntelliSense notepad anything notepad plus plus anything of your choice I will recommend use Visual Studio Code now what are the browsers that uh, you can use and test CSS is in the browser runs in the browser which means any browser of your choice be it Safari Chrome Edge Firefox Brave it will work on all the browsers okay so before I leave you if you are following from HTML tutorial you can also see that inside this particular I created a folder and same way we'll create a new folder and we are going to call it oh, not here I want to call it at the top so these are all my folders similarly you will have your own folder right and collapse okay I am going to create right at the top okay and let's just for now or since we are learning together I'm just going to create it inside and you can call it styles.css okay that's how you create a CSS file give any name it need not to be styles.css you can give any name of your choice say my styles.css doesn't matter it can be any CSS file and any name you can give okay that's all I want you to learn today and just the warm-up to know about what is CSS what we are covering the editors and the browsers if you are comfortable with this in the next episode onwards I will start covering the basics of CSS will start coding it will be fun thank you so much for joining in this episode I'll see you in the next episode when we start CSS journey wish you all the best happy learning we'll learn and grow together take thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode